on the beach again. How nice. Okay, we're back on Project Lazarus, everyone. Playing solo again. The goal is to not just survive this time, but really to destroy anyone who lives anywhere near me. This server just wiped. I'm pretty sure I'm actually the very first person on. So uh, just look at the map and I love to live next to the coastal town and the outpost. So there's a great spot. That's where I'm headed. So this is extremely modded server. You can't craft ammo, meds, most armor. You can't craft doors, explosives. Uh, there's no sulfur nodes, uh, there's zombies at monuments. It's a completely custom map. So uh, yeah, it's pretty challenging to get started. And uh, I ended up getting pretty lucky here, actually finding all these tools and a bow, uh, that kind of stuff. Nice, and I got a hatchet. Now I got everything. Oh damn, what the hell? I'm like diseased. Damn, they're way faster too this time it seems like. Man, I can barely get back to my horse here. I'm losing health so fast, I'm definitely gonna die. Alright, back to my body now. Didn't take too long. Picked up some cloth along the way. Let's make a little bit more clothes. back to work smashing every barrel I can on the way to uh, the outpost of where I want to build which is southeast of me. Alright that's a great find early in the game later it won't matter but right now that saves me four or five hundred bucks because you cannot craft a hammer you have to find one or buy one. Okay we finally made it to one of the three outposts the southern one and uh, let's use the selling system to get rid of everything I can. Now, if you never played Project Lazarus before, you might think, is that a lot of money? Your answer? No, it's not. Components are not a very worthwhile way to make money for selling in this game unless they're like rifle bodies, tech track, uh, computers, you know, laptops, cameras, that kind of stuff. But I need anything at this point. Alright, another reason they call this hardcore is the building mechanics on this server. Not only do you need wood to build twig or upgrade to wood, you also need nails, a custom component. And then to uh, upgrade to stone, you need a custom component called cement, and you also need stone. Then metal, you need sheet metal and metal fragments. And to go to armor, you also need to have sheet metal plus nails. And now they've added you need to upgrade your TC to allow your base to become metal or armored in the first place. So again, much different than normal vanilla server. Alright, we had a bit more stuff that time. What are we going to get? Okay, alright, that's, that's a lot more than last time at least. Alright, let's keep going. I like that they use these little ATM mods. You can uh, bank money in here, that way nobody can steal it from you. You can only bank a certain amount at a time and it goes up with your level which is at the top left of the screen. You gain experience by mining, killing, uh, events, that kind of stuff. So like I was saying, to build your base you're going to need probably nails and cement. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using that cash that I have over here to buy whatever nails and cement I can. Alright, now things are coming together pretty good. I'm going to need some raw resources also, so cue the montage. There's a big mountain just north of my base there, so it was pretty good farming, especially since nobody else has been around yet. Pretty happy with that haul. Alright, I think I got enough for my 2x1 now. Let's throw it down. That little ding noise in the green box in the top right there that's flashing. That's uh, me completing quests, you know, like putting down my first TC and stuff, and that's how you get skill points and go down the skill trees. So let's just crap the wood doors for now, that's okay. I'm gonna put down these boxes and then uh, let's go see if we can work on that. Alright, here we are arriving just east of my base at uh, probably my favorite monument on this server. It's called the Coastal Town and uh, you'll notice right away as I'm picking up some of this loot that it is not always in crates. It is quite often almost found in uh, quote unquote daisy style, you know, just randomly laying everywhere. Uh, you kind of got to look for it. Very different, very fun. Wow, that's crazy. I got two metal doors there. 
It's so random what you can find, like the loot tables are pretty crazy. So running this town just over and over again will just net you really good stuff eventually. So that's not a bad first haul from there. I got a couple of large furnaces. They're worth 650 each. That's uh, 1300. The laser sights another 300. Uh, I got a hollow sight, some better tools. I got the doors. I got the triangle ladder hatch. I got free nails. I got the night vision. Uh, that's pretty freaking huge. So I'm gonna do this a lot. I'm gonna try and save you guys some time. I'm gonna show me going into the coastal town. I'm gonna show me leaving real quick. Because unless there's something fun happening or whatever, there's no point. So I want to save you time. I just run it a lot. I run it a lot this way. This is why I chose to live here. Now that it was so bright out, I thought oh, I'll take Mr. Horsey and let's do some noting up on the mountain and let's get a get a good view of our surroundings. See if we can see any bases or you know just what everything looks like. It's a lot of notes, but that's pretty much it so far. That's okay though. I like getting a lot done. I remember Spoon Kid said something in a video. He says uh, his happiness was directly proportional to how little PvP he does. If he doesn't do a lot of PvP, he gets a lot of progression, he stays happy. Something like that. This was my first sign of other people. And uh, I'd be seeing a lot of them. Anyway, another solid coastal town run. Another door, three ladders, weapon flashlight, single metal door, blue card, uh, another hollow, some clothes. To coastal towns where it's at. All right, I got some stuff to sell and recycle. And uh, with the horse, it takes 10, 15 seconds max to get to outpost. It's crazy. I wanted to see what I'd get from uh, recycling all this stuff, if it was uh, worth it at all. Uh, I think in the end, like vending machines, uh, grenade launchers, different little things like that are, but everything else, meh, not really. Okay, we went from like 378 to 1170 to now like over three grand. Definitely figuring out the right way to make money here. Big step ups, big step ups. So obviously I'm not really in the market to raid anybody just yet. Uh, I think my biggest thing is to get a solid base so that way I can store things. Like, you know, let's say I run this town 10 times. Am I going to come back to it raided or is it going to get roam raided? So it needs to be fortified enough that uh, it can hold my loot and it's not just an easy uh, walk through for somebody. By the time I got back to base with everything, we got it all ready to build. Uh, it was nighttime, so I'm really glad I found those night vision goggles because building at night in the pitch black is super annoying. And here we go. Yeah, I don't have any great master plan here. This is just a two by one with an airlock that I'm putting honeycomb on. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with a little uh, pancake layer, and uh, you know what I mean. That's that's the basics, and I just go freehand from there. As ugly as it is, I love uh, the rare time when I get an online raid and people uh, top down raid me, and I've got a double armored pancake layer. I got you. Got to know that they're upset when they see that, you know. All right, it's a new day. The sun's starting to come up. The birds are chirping. Let's uh, let's get out of this base and let's get back to work. I am gonna run that coastal town dry. Don't worry. This is like kind of the last run where I'm gonna like show you all the individual loot I'm getting here. I just want to get you, you know, the idea of what we're finding here. Roadside kilts. Uh, you know what I mean? Refineries, all kinds of components, clothing. We got backpacks on this server even. Um, you know what I mean? I just found a, an actual furnace for my base. You know, now that I can't craft one, that's awesome. I didn't have one before, right? I guess the horse is in a bad mood. He didn't want to eat his pumpkin. But anyway, we needed to chop down some trees for those furnaces. Plus, I needed some wood in the base. Did that real quick here. I feel like I'm just killing it right now. Like, I know there's not like, a ton of action just yet. Don't worry, there will be. Well, uh, but, uh, you know what I mean? Like, the, we're bulking up this base big time for for the game just starting here on a hardcore server like this. So I'm out running around, getting cloth, cutting down trees, hitting some nodes, whatever I can get. I just 
want to get it all stocked up. Not so much the trees, but the, the nodes big time before other people log on and start getting them. And then uh, I noticed there's a plane crash near me, so I, I depot uh, anything good in a box there, and uh, we head for it. I get here, and it looks like there's some fire, but this crate doesn't look like it. And I still get burned. But I hang out around the rocks, and somehow nobody else is here, and I managed to get this. Wow, that is going to speed up my progression just a little bit. Couple rockets, armored door, pistol, Tommy. We got some crappy rockets, a scope. Okay, that that's good. That is a sweet come up. Okay, let's put this to good use right away. No point dicking around. Somebody goes for a door raid, they're going to be surprised. Alright, first time at Coastal Town with a gun. That's pretty cool loot from a zombie. Ooh, things are getting spicy. Hmm, what have we here? I still would like to shoot someone in the back. And I felt like that was like a good vantage point to see everything. Or maybe I get shot in the back. Run, 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 run. I must be lagging a little bit. I don't know how he hit me there. He must have just caught my shoulder as I went around the corner. Damn, I was hoping he'd run into that grenade. Alright, well, I didn't have much for kits, so I just decided to go pretty much buck naked the other way from my base, which is west, towards this monument called the mansion. And, uh, yeah, just tried to loot that for a bit. I got home with it all, and it was, uh, much less loot than Coastal Town, to be honest, and kind of shittier, almost. The only kind of redeeming part was I got another door. Everything was all quiet at Coastal Town, so I went back almost naked. Ended up with a shotgun and quite a bit of loot here. So with all my extremely advanced, very fancy editing, what I'm trying to show you is that I got home from Coastal Town, I left, went back to the coastal town again, came back again. Here's an example of what I was talking about earlier with the TC system. So it's all uh, in a tier list and uh, you have to put your cash into your TC and upgrade uh, it to different tiers. Uh, each tier lets you do different things like let you have more planter boxes or turrets. At the start you can't have any of that and you can't even uh, make your base metal so you have to get to like tier 3 or 4 or something like that to even be able to upgrade to metal how much am I gonna get? how much am I gonna get? 77 yeah that's like almost that is double nope yeah that is double last time all right, yet another feature on this server. If I go into chat and I type backslash phone, look what comes up. All these options, I can trade through the marketplace, I can access the skill tree, or I can access my level rewards. Not too bad to get that as a bonus for, you know, everything I was already doing. So like a good little boy, I put all my money in the bank just so it would be safe from robbers. No, but at the start of the game when you don't got much money and you can put it all in the ATM, why would you not, right? Bought a hair more cement there before I left. Uh, that's going to be a big thing for today, doing big base upgrades. That way it's really hard day one for someone to have enough to raid a big base. Everybody's looking for, you know, 2x1s, two 2x2s, two stuff like that, right? Adding a layer of honeycomb to your base in the server is actually really expensive too because you usually need a bunch of nails to make the twig then you need the cement to upgrade it after and the stone and the wood right so everything just costs way 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 more right now also uh, my TC is too low level I can't actually upgrade anything to metal I have uh, metal frags smelting in my furnaces you know plenty to do that but uh, my TC won't let me so uh, right now I'm just trying to put on at least a few layers of stone Oh, I'm pretty sure I just heard footsteps. Oh, there he 
guys. Boom, direct hit. Oh, fuck this flame slowing me down. You ain't going nowhere. Got ya. GG, man. GG. This guy's got some pretty random coastal town loot, but I'll take it. Nails and cement, meds, another door, clothes, guns. Nothing bad at all. So I brought all that loot back, and then uh, basically over the next, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, uh, the loot responds really fast. I came and looted Coastal Town another three times. I don't want to bore you with that. I don't want to show you all that. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff built up. Let's go get rid of that. And, uh, you know, we're always just buying stuff for the base. Pretty soon we won't be buying stuff for the base. Pretty soon, it'll all just be explosives. Alright, we sold all that. What did we make? Eight grand. Alright, well that's not double last time, but at least it's uh, still up there. You can still do a lot with eight grand. Alright, so I buy a couple hundred cement here. I figure that's going to help me in the future. I'm still finding it, but I, I need a lot at once. And then uh, I've gone up a couple levels uh, in the last little while, so I go and uh, check it, and I take a PvP hit here, and uh, guess what? It's uh, a Tommy and a Hazmat. Not too bad. So I take all that home, I get home, and uh, I put the cash I have in the TC there, and I decide to upgrade to the first tier. Now immediately that's not giving me any big benefits, but uh, you know, we want to work our way up, so let's just do it now. Now that I got all that cement, I got an urge to make this baby a little taller. Let's make her a little taller then. Alright, now we got a full second four. We got roof access, and now that we're done that, why don't we just put a bed here on the second floor? Perfect. I know I've already done a lot of this, guys, but think of this. Day one, solo on a trio server, and how many times have I gone and put a layer on the base? No, this is a good thing, right? Don't worry, don't worry. It's going to be over soon. Eventually, I won't be able to do anything more to the base. Ran out of stone mid uh, mid building here, so had to take a little break. Uh, good thing it's night out. I can just rip around and get unlimited resources. And we're home just like that. It seems like a very short trip for you is actually a long trip for me. Gotta love the magic of editing. Just like when building. Imagine going to your favorite server and you gotta build a big base. And to build everything, especially if you had power, a couple hours, three hours at least, right? I know that took a while, but I think uh, it's uh, as close to uh, its form as it's going to get right now here. Uh, I think it's minimum three walls to the TC any way you go. Uh, or at least that many doors with an explosive. Alright, the base is pretty upgraded. Uh, um, stacked a little bit on resources, so I decided to go to the coastal town. I'm looking at the footage here and I, I don't understand why I only brought a water pipe with slugs, but uh, that's what happened anyway. Oh, what a shot. Oh, he's got to be low after that. Wait, that doesn't look like the same guy. Okay, headshot him too. Okay, he's full of stuff. Now, is there anyone left? Of course, of course. And look who it is. Monkey Mane again. Uh, 
All right, no big deal. So just spawned. Uh, went back to coastal town again. It's a pretty big place. Sometimes uh, it's empty, sometimes it's not. Uh, ended up getting out of there with a uh, garage door and a bunch of other stuff. So not uh, not uh, too bad at all. Oh no, that's not good. All right. Uh, yeah, the uh, coastal town's getting a little busier, hey. All right, I'm pretty low on guns. I uh, I pretty much just have one or two for the base if I ever get raided. So uh, let's go out naked again and see what we can do. Basically, just ran coastal town twice, uh, mansion once, and then coastal town again. Depot at all. It was very uneventful. And then uh, now I brought myself back to coastal town for another run. So I come around the corner and I didn't think this guy saw me. I backed up and I was thinking, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Should have pulled out a aid or something or ran, but uh, I hesitated way too long. I'm doing very hit or miss east of my base, so I've decided to go west again. That seems to be a good little thing. Whenever it's too hot, go the other way for a little while, maybe come back. Uh, leveling up is a good option to get a lot of loot. If I level up, I get a lot of free rewards over the course of time. And a good way to level up is killing zombies. Plus, they also can drop explosives, guns, who knows. So I ran mansion, killed a bunch more zombies around different places. Didn't really go back to coastal town much just yet. And uh, I had a bunch of stuff piled up, so we just went to the outpost to sell it here. Alright, 16-8. That's what I'm talking about. We keep pulling stuff like that in, we will be raiding in no time. Time for some more level wards. I'll take uh, a scuba suit and some cash, I guess. And how nice, they put the scuba suit on me automatically. Got me walking around the outpost in flippers. How foolish. But uh, I'm happy to have it, and the eight grand uh, for a level reward is really nice. That's what I was saying to you guys though, about leveling up. It's really important, and the higher level you get, the bigger the rewards, right? Okay, we brought all that cash home, and we are upgrading the base tool cupboard with it. wasn't able to do everything, but that's a huge step. We really went right over normal metal, went right to high qual. Alright, we are back in and out, in and out of the coastal town a couple times. Got a bunch of stuff to sell. That's uh, the whole goal, is to just slang most of it. My base is all full with like lots and lots of like clothes kits and stuff like that, at least anyway now. So I don't need that stuff, I'm pretty much only picking up stuff to sell. Speaking of selling, let's go slang a bunch of stuff at the outpost real quick. Alright, 6.5 isn't the greatest, but uh, that's not the bulk of my inventory, everyone. I have some uh, narcotics, some funny plants uh, in my inventory that you can gather. When you get cloth, you get funny plant number one. When you gather berries of red and white varieties, you get other funny plants, quote-unquote. You have to take them to a recycler that's not in a safe zone. Um, and then there's a special button you can hit called process and it trims up your special plants and then you can bring them back to the outpost to sell them. So here we are. Mansion has a recycler and it's not a safe zone. So we go in here, we press that button process and we go in here and we process our special plants. Alright, so we make our way from the mansion back to the outpost to sell our processed funny plants. And we make a decent amount of money for what we had. Uh, I make it about 14000 here. That's not too shabby. Now we won't be buying much cement anymore. Now that we've got that TC upgraded, we're going to buy a batch of 200 And then I think another batch of 100 sheet metal. Uh, we're uh, we're going to make some serious upgrades yet again. I get home, immediately put that sheet metal to good use, and finish armoring up the core of my base. Now we are much, much readier to defend ourselves. Alright, now that's done. 
Getting safer by the minute here, guys. I'm not water, and then two bears attack me. What a bunch of guys. I want to remind you guys, this is all on the very first day of me playing. This is wipe day still, right? Uh, so I'm just back and forth, every little town, in and out, building the base, cell, and got back to the monuments. So now I figure I would go grab more nodes, I would go around and kill more zombies, try to loot them, see if I get explosives from them, which sounds funny, but it happens quite a lot. So anyway, we want to stay busy. I'm out there, I'm moving. Pretty good trip, man. Got all that experience, MP5, garage door, all those nodes. Well, I'm gonna need some wood if I'm gonna keep building and if I'm gonna keep those furnaces going. Pretty far northwest of my base, I saw a lock crate had dropped. The pop was low, so I decided to go check it out. Well, that's interesting. It's already started. So he's here, or he's coming back. I feel like usually the doors are open. No, that's why. He's AFK in here. Trail takes seven HEs, a launcher, face mask. Yeah, that, uh, all that stuff's uh, good with me. Wow, that's a doozy of a crate. No explosives, but double face mask, double bolt, AK double four or eight times or whatever that is. That's pretty good. Holy. Alright, so on the way back from that, it's daytime. I stop at my outpost by my place. I sell all that, and I noticed there's a locked crate at the coastal town. Now, I found out this out the hard way already, that the locked crate at the coastal town always drops on top of a building. It's inaccessible uh, by jumping, as far as I know. So I think to myself, it's been there for a while, and it doesn't seem to be going away. I'm going to buy a helicopter. Buy a helicopter for five grand. All right, here we go. So I'm just about there, and I check my map, and it's gone. It's literally been on the map for at least two hours. I check. Before I bought the heli, I bought the heli, I start flying over, and it's gone. So that is some bad timing and bad luck, let me tell you. It's late at night, pops low, I run coastal town quick while I'm there. And to go with my bad luck, I am not the best pilot, especially at landing. So there is five grand pretty much completely wasted on a helicopter. Another plane crash northwest of my base, so I decided let's go check that out. I snuck the last way there. I had all the high ground. I had slugs with a silencer. And nobody came. It was just a free grab. Come on, there's got to be another crate. There's usually more than two. Oh, there you are. Not bad. C4, rocket, double, double armored door. Man, other rockets, uh, bolt, another four or eight times or ever, spaz. Man, I'm getting good luck lately. Even my building supplies are starting to pile up. Well, let's put these armored doors on. Why not? Day one is uh, definitely winding down here, everyone. Uh, I don't know about you, but at the end of my days, usually I uh, do as much of a base upgrade as I can, especially in those early days, just to keep yourself secure, hopefully, until the next time you log on. So here we go. I'm going to upgrade the last of the doors, the walls. I'm going to do everything I can right now before I get ready to log. Alright, now on to the outside. Let's add as much as we can. The real problem with a pancake layer above your TC or anywhere in your base is usually it messes up the rest of your building. Now, when you're doing your honeycombing, now you're always adding honeycombing uh, uh, half walls and this kind of stuff all the time. It's actually really annoying and it adds tremendously to the cost, actually, too. Alright, it was late for me, I'd been up all day, the server was quiet, 
uh, I thought to myself, well, I can get one really solid more coastal town run in. So I go and do that. <clears throat> you know me. So I get back from that. I, uh, I build a, a little bit more normal of an entrance. I get rid of this little hatch kind of main entrance. And uh, then I realize I don't quite have enough to finish the upgrades I've planned. Take some stuff to outpost here. Uh, we go and sell all that. And then we bring it back. And uh, the plan is to just top off everything else. Make sure there's no exposed twig. You know, I've got the, the main husk. You know what I mean? Of the base done. And uh, that'll be it for tonight, you know? Alright, we made just under 14 there. That's awesome. I grab a couple level rewards while I'm here. Why not? And then I try to be smart by dumping as much excess cash as I can into the ATM here. Uh, that way if I do get raided that I will be able to buy stuff, rebuild my base, etc. Get a way faster start. Okay, just finishing up a couple different pieces of the roof right now. And, uh, sorry guys, there's no raiding today. Uh, if we make it through, that's going to be a big focus of tomorrow, is getting at least one decent raid done, okay? Alright, started day two. Are we good? Yes, we're not raided. Okay, let's get moving. Alright, so first thing I do, I go run Coastal Town pretty quick. Uh, I don't show too much of that, it's not too exciting. I did get a garage door, however, though, so uh, I slap that on. Uh, and then I go up to my bed on the second floor and we put a locker down. Uh, put some kits in there, nothing too fancy. Now we're a little bit more ready. Uh, and then I proceed to go up to my third floor. I gotta knock a wall out, but uh, that's just so I can make my third floor my shooting floor. Alright, so I break through and then I begin the building process. Um, you can't craft these window embrasures, so I've just picked them up through uh, all my runs of the coastal town. I've been saving them. Uh, I know this isn't a fancy design. There's no peaks, uh, no nothing fancy like that. It's just so I can see out of my base. I definitely got to learn to build a little bit better. I uh, I am definitely not uh, any kind of pro builder, that's for sure. It looks funny with the different kinds, but that's just what I've found over the course of my run so far. Need a little bit more stone to finish up the roof. So I'm just leaving my base, hitting nodes really close by, and I see this shack that's really close to me. Definitely not a raid base or anything, but someone else thinks they can live that close to me. We're gonna get rid of that pretty soon, don't you worry. Alright, I hit everything I could find up there, and uh, that's all I got, so I don't know, I feel like I got a lot more than that, I guess uh, that makes sense though. Time to finish the roof. Eventually, if we make it that far, I want to have a spot to land helis on top, I want to have uh, some roof overhangs, I want to have some windmills and some turrets up there, so nobody can really land up there so easy. We'll see how far we get this, uh, this wipe. Super basic, but I can land a heli here and I can get out and control my surroundings a little easier. Alright, well I said my neighbor wasn't going to last long and well, I'm going to go deal with it right now. I have a few grenade launchers from killing zombies and HE shells, so as you can see, it's going to happen all at once. This is going to be a speedy raid. Alright, we're in. Time to check it out. Oh, armored doors open. That's super nice. Okay, okay, let's instant out that TC quick. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is this gonna have anything in it at all? He did have an armored door. Alright, alright, not bad. Large furnace, HD. Uh, you know, we got Tommy. Custom, uh, a couple other guns, some armor, lots of bullets. Uh, TC had you know, some resources in it. I'd say for some free HEs that I just found, that was great. Came back, got a whole nother full inventory from that. Best part though, got rid of a really close neighbor. 
All right, so we depoled all that, we put it away, and I thought, well, let's get back to work. Let's head to Coastal Town. Damn, I didn't see him again. Oh, and look who it is. All right, when I die too much going one way, let's go the other way. And let's bring the card and let's run this green card room again, see if we get any luck. Once again, absolutely nothing to write home about. Last time I got a pump, though, at least. that Nothing here even compares to that. So again, one of the reasons I kill the zombies is uh, gaining experience so you could level up. Uh, here you go, I'm getting my level up rewards right now, and I'm going to get a cool 13k cash just from leveling up to level 13. So, I don't know, that's, that's pretty giant. That's a whole payday instantly, and you can save them up, so nobody can steal that from you if I don't claim it, right? So potentially at the end I could have all my bonuses in a kind of a bank almost, you know what I mean? All right, went to Coastal Town, looted it, came home. Now I got a bunch of stuff all through my base. I gotta sell it all. Time to go to the outpost and see what kind of money we're getting this time. All right, a little over 14,000, not too bad. Uh, and I always try to save the vending machines when I find them. Uh, that's an easy 10 high qual. Uh, you know, a few vending machines a day. Jeez, that's your upkeep, even if you have a decent high qual base. So, I don't know. It's not that hard to make some high qual on this server. Just had a few more items to sell at the base. So I grabbed them, came back, and we made a little over five grand again. So, uh, really nice. Everything's adding up big time. Alright, I'm back home with all that, and as I get into my TC, you can see that I'm not doing too bad. We upgraded all that stuff already, and uh, we're starting to pile up the HQM and the cash again. Geez, 62, geez. That's not too shabby. So I was just running around all the different little monuments, killing any zombie that I could find. Anytime they'd respawn or it'd been a while, I'd try to circle back. Uh, and uh, while I was doing that, I, I came across a cave base, and on top of the cave base there was a heli spawned, but uh, I had no fuel at all, so uh, basically I went and found some really quick, real close by, and uh, let's see if we could fly it back to my base with almost nothing for fuel. Ah, this is nerve-wracking. This is like driving on the highway in the middle of nowhere with like your empty sign on on your gas tank. There she is. Can we not crash land? No, oh, we're coming in really hot here. Oh, I'm lucky that didn't break. And look at that. One fuel left. That's crazy. Meant to be, I'd say. A big reason I'm grinding so hard is uh, you saw when I hit level 13, I got 13,000 cash. I think you get 18 at 18 and like 20 something at 20 something, and then at a certain level, like 20 something or 30 something, you get rockets and C4 and a launcher. Um, so I'm trying to make leveling up a giant priority right now, basically to get a lot of the end game stuff because it's just going to be huge paydays. Alright, got home from doing a long run at zombies and bears and nodes. I uh, dropped all that off. We went did the coastal town again. Ran that. Came home. Dropped that off. Now it's time for some more base building. Kind of wanted to put a new front door, extend the door path, and also put a bunch of loot boxes and a bed right at the front door too, so I don't have to jump over all this crap in my base and go through all these awkward doors. I can just come in, come through two doors, and drop off all the crap I loot from the coastal town, etc. all the time. Just make things quicker, make my life easier. 
blah blah blah. We go to Coastal Town again. Got it all. Came home, depoted it. Headed back to Coastal Town again. I heard these douchebags flying by, and I decided finally to take some shots at them. Pretty sure it's that monkey man guy and his buddies. Ooh, headshot one of them. Oh, they're turning back. They're coming for me now. This is like two minutes later on the far west side of Coastal Town. Uh, they're still patrolling looking for me. They got really pissed off when I did that, I guess. But I made it home with my loot. No problem. After depoting that, I decided to uh, go check out on the top of the northern mountain there. Just kind of scout around and uh, found a little base up there. Just decided to check it out, you know. Alright, this is pretty cool. Uh, I can definitely tell where the loot is. I could come back here with the grenade launcher and get in there. I don't know if that's worth it right now, or if I should let him build and maybe come back tomorrow. I kind of know where the TC is now, I think. Anyway, for now, I continue north to Lazarus Town just to kill zombies again. Uh, just need that experience. Alright, back to Coastal Town again. I know, guys, I know, but... I'm looting there for a while, and I could have swore I heard something. I'm looking around, and somebody takes a shot at me. My first thought is, this guy's got a DV. I'm going to charge him. Okay, never mind. Bad idea. Run, run, run. Great, just what I need. Super low health, running, and now I got a zombie chasing me. Okay, where is this guy? Oh, I surprised that guy, but I whiffed so hard. And then he just disappears. And then, where did that just come from? What the heck's going on here? Ah, there's two of them at least. That makes much more sense. Alright, I think you know my routine, my mentality. I die in Coastal Town, we go run Mansion. Alright, you can see the map here just for a couple seconds. You can see the layout. Pretty much run in the southwest corner of the map in circles over and over again. Uh, so we finished the Mansion, it wasn't very good loot. We head back to the Coastal Town, we run that. No big surprise. Got a bunch of stuff built up in my front room just from doing different uh, towns, etc, etc. So let's go sell that quick. If you guys haven't noticed, they got backpacks on this server. Uh, there's three different sizes. I think you get six slots, 12 slots, or like 18 slots. I forget exactly, but the smallest one's only six. All right, we're gonna do this for the first time. We're gonna go down the skill tree here. We are going to uh, use the tree that lets us sell the drugs that we harvest for more in total. That is a beneficial thing. As you can see, lots of times when I go and sell that, uh, I'm raking in 10, 20 grand a time. So we're just going to make a bigger percentage on top of that, you know. We also grab a couple more level rewards. Uh, one of them is RP capacity. The other one's ATM capacity. So I'm quick to go and fill up my ATM to the max every time I can. The other one is called reputation points, and that's basically when you kill someone, uh, then you can buy stuff with it, and that's in the top left one. I did most of the core in armored. Uh, now let's finish that up and uh, everything surrounding as much as possible. I'm constantly, constantly working on this base, guys. All right, with all that upgrading, I feel a little bit safer to log off for the end of day two. Okay, guys, wish me luck. See if we can survive. All right, and we are not rated again. Okay, day three, starting strong. Now look at my map here. Look what do we see? A lock spray close to us, the coastal town. So I actually still have my heli left over from uh, the night before somehow, still on my roof. Let's go. some fire here. I don't know where from. 
Not a very good shot. Okay, I see two lock crates over there. Wow, that must be where he is. Okay, that's weird. I thought he was just over there. Uh, how does he see me? How the hell did I get hit there? Oh man, I'm gonna die if I jump off the roof. I'm gonna abandon my heli. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't get it. He's not shooting now. He must be over there with the lock crates. I'm still a little confused exactly where he was. He hit some weird shots, so I'm gonna scan this kind of slow. Okay, there's the crates and a heli. Okay, it's gotta be right there. I don't see him though. Oh wait, is that his gun poking out? Well, he definitely knows I'm still here. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of an angle on him here. I don't know if I can. Lol, he should have uh, left at least one item in the crate and it wouldn't despawn and blew his cover like that. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's check out that loot. All right, that guy got both the crates, uh, and he was dirt poor otherwise. But uh, I'll take the double armor doors, rocket, and guns. Sure, thanks. All right, we get back. Slap that new armor door that I got on my base, making sure that it's not getting uh, wasted. It's getting put to good use. And then uh, that last base that I went and scouted, the one I saw just on the mountain north of my base, uh, I want to go back there and check it out. It's uh, been another day. All right. Whoever lives here has definitely been playing. They finished their entrance, and now it's a full 2x2. Two two. This looks like a nice little raid target. Well, there's no time like the present, and uh, I do enjoy raiding at night when I have night vision goggles. Uh, I decided to kind of blitz this raid again and bring a bunch of launchers. That way I don't have to reload. Hopefully I can just, you know, pound that thing and break the walls very quickly, get in and out again. It's time. All right, we hit TC in the room I thought it was in for sure. Looks like there's a heli on top even. Resources, guns, bullets, and HEs back. All right, all right. I need the guns and the bullets, so that's a really good thing. I'm tired of going out with the pump all the time. All right, I got another middle face mask and a uh, breastplate too. Uh, I know it's pretty controversial, but I usually sell that stuff. Uh, it's worth so much more selling it than wearing it and then getting shot in the back and losing it. I'd rather just wear a cheaper kit like a hazmat that you can only sell for 300 bucks versus the other two which is like three grand uh it just seems like a smarter plan all right so you get depot all that and then by the time we get back it's morning and uh there's just a little bit more loot here than i thought pretty happy about that You can only carry one backpack at a time unless you complete a whole skill tree. A certain one lets you have two. Uh, but uh, I'll exchange a small one for the bigger one. And uh, we will take all this stuff here. Man, there's so much stuff. I think I'm going to have to come back. I thought I could uh, put some in this backpack, but this guy's already got it stored full of meds and stuff. But uh, alright, let's take that out of here and let's not forget the chopper. Let's take that too. I left in my short helicopter flight home. On the left you can see Coastal Town, on the right Outpost, and uh, just get a good view of the surroundings around my base here. Even managed to catch cargo in, the, in my little video here too, apparently. 
Yeah, boy. Now I got two choppers, both of which I didn't pay for. Awesome. Just showing you guys, I went back and got all the scraps, the clothes, the stone, the bullets, every little thing, the DVs. Went to go sell a bunch of stuff from the raid. Uh, I don't think it was everything. I kept a bunch of stuff. It wasn't uh, hugely profitable in terms of money raid, but, you know, resources, guns, bullets, lots of odds and ends. Uh, definitely all stuff I could use. I'm going to work on the base for a little while here, filling in some odd gaps and stuff before I uh, realize there's a lock crate at Coastal Town again. So we just get in the chopper after that and uh, fly over. I, uh, I think I cut the scene where we're flying there and I activated stuff. That doesn't matter, you don't need to see that. Alright, lots of these crates are okay. I haven't hit a really good one yet. That gives me uh, a C4 or two, but uh, this is okay. Another launcher, mask, a whole bunch of guns. Uh, I'll take it. So after that, I uh, run Coastal Town twice. It's pretty uneventful. Uh, just back and forth, you know. And then I see that there's a lock crate up at a town in the northwest. I think it's a suburb. Uh, population semi -low. I decided to take a horse up there and go check it out. Definitely think it had some gear fear or something. I don't. I don't know why I'm still rolling around with a pump, uh, pump slugs. Like, that, I guess it's good, uh, but I don't know. A machine gun probably would have been better in that scenario. I think he fired first anyway. He probably would have killed me either way. Well, I tried. I went out of my comfort zone. I left the area and security of the air, uh, near vicinity of my base. Attempted uh, potential PVP, counter PVP. So anyway, we're back to uh, trying to uh, farming experience, getting stuff that way. Just keep switching it up. Go back, I drop off everything I had, head back out to coastal town. And I hear a guy with a bow, I'm thinking, oh, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Bro, rip me with that head glitch. Oh, man. Again, should have brought a bigger gun. Damn, he popped out from behind that cover. His profile was so small. And he didn't miss his shots at all, either. Oh, man. I didn't have any cover. Usually, I don't do this. But I wanted revenge, so I kitted up and ran right back ASAP. I crapped all through coastal town, didn't hear another gunshot, never saw a wink at anybody. No revenge for me, I guess. I looted it while I was there, obviously. Brought all back, and uh, I couldn't uh, resist looting coastal town at least one more time and looking for that guy one more time before I uh, logged off for the end of day three. Uh, didn't find him, but uh, I did get a really good haul. Really random stuff, but a really good haul. Here's a little peek at one of my nicer boxes. Will we survive the night until day four? Alright, somehow, day four, we're not raided. First things first, we even have to ask, running coastal town fast. Alright, so I ran that quick. Uh, it was actually a pretty good little run from the zombies and stuff. We got some AHEs, exploit rounds, guns, backpack. I got 91 nails, 84 uh, 5.5 five rounds. Pretty damn solid. From my base down there, I could uh, see there was a new base north on top of the mountain. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the guy I raided or rebuilt. Uh, he's got walls, uh, windmills. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some turrets in there. Uh, you know, this seems like it could be a good little raid target. Wasn't sure if he was online, so his turret just shot at me, but uh, no footsteps heard. Just looking for a place to try to jump in there. Let's try here. It's like the opposite side. Okay, damn. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to go build a little wood tower or something like that to get a better look in there. See if I can jump in, if there's anywhere there's like a hole in the turrets. I had to go home fast to get some nails. You can't even build twig without it on the server. Uh, and then we're just gonna take a look inside this guy's compound and see where his turrets are pointed here. I know everybody builds these little towers differently, but this is how I do it. I can get a lot of support and structure this way, go up pretty high. That way if someone's got turrets, usually I can HV them out this way. Hmm, only two turrets. Well, that'll be easy, I'll just break one of them. I'll go get the stuff and come back. I actually raided this guy, but the footage got corrupted somehow. All I did was HV one of the turrets, and then I uh, just hopped in with a ladder. Uh, it was basically just a 2x2 two two with some a little bit of honeycombing, but not even full. So it was basically just, I think I broke two stone walls, and that was it. Uh, he had a bunch of decent loot, guns, ammo, building supplies, stuff like that. Not much boomer money, though. Alright, so that was just one load. Uh, I've got some more at base. Uh, I ended up getting quite a few knickknacks, just guns, armor, that kind of stuff. So we make the 13 grand, we go and recycle these vending machines, get some high qual. Uh, and then we just gotta load up again and come back here and sell some more stuff. Okay, so we sell all that for like nine, and then we gotta go get in the backpack, take all the stuff out, we'll sell that too quick. Alright, so another 16.6, that's nice, along with the 13, so that's over 30 we made since the raid with the last coastal town loot included. Uh, doesn't even close to cover, you know what I mean, uh, cost for usually a raid, but, uh, you know, we're getting extra kits, guns, resources, uh, it's just making me stronger in general. So you saw me take a couple more level up rewards, I got a gun, and like a kit, and then like a heavy quality armor set, and, uh, also I was able to take uh, a cash prize of 18,000. But I choose not to take that on purpose because it's basically in a bank right now. I feel like I could get raided any day now. And why not just keep that money safe until I want it? Is my thought pattern anyway. So we get back from that coastal town run really quick and uh, I decide to put that armored door to use. I also had a couple other armored doors I think from the raid. Uh, that last raid loot that left over so uh, I even replaced garage doors in my base now so this, this shit is really strong like basically the only sheet metal doors are my very very first entry doors everything else is HQM core HQM doors I was on a little roam I guess looking for not really nodes picking up plants looking for people's bases uh, you know what I mean, just scouting around, and I heard a couple uh, couple shots fired, and uh, I head over there, and this is what I find. Really not sure what happened here. Uh, heli, and a car, two dead bodies, lots of loot, um, and no one around. Uh, no sounds, nobody came back, I just grabbed this shit and left, you know? Wow, it's full of fuel too. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, thanks for the heli. I took the heli home, got rid of all that stuff, and uh, I looked on my map and saw there was a locked crate at Coastal Town, so we took the chopper headed over there. Sorry the audio is like slightly delayed when I loaded this footage. Uh, I don't know, it was so far off I had to like adjust it myself, and I got it kind of close, but it was hard to get it really perfect. Uh, kind of sketch, I know. Alright, so we start the crate, and then boom! Magic of editing, it's ready, it's open, two AKs, bolt, launcher, custom, Man, not too bad, I'm, I'm still waiting for rockets and C4 personally. Okay, I'm just running to Coastal Town really quick, and this little base next to mine, it's not someone else's, this is a little flank base I made, I got uh, a bed in there with a couple Tommy kits, just in case I get raided. After running Coastal Town, I'm just trying to level up, still, all the time. If there's PvP around, I'll take it, but uh, otherwise we're in uh, Lazarus Town now, just killing zombies. And also, like I said, looking for their loot, like the guns, armored doors, explosive ammo, the HE nades that they give. Alright, so we went and sold some stuff, but I had a bunch of those funny plants on me. Uh, so on the way back, we went and uh, deposited the cash at the base. And then we took all that other stuff to a non-safe zone recycler so we could process it and trim up the buds if uh, 
if that works. All right, so it's done processing. Uh, while it was doing that, I just always loot the town a little bit too, just to you know kill time. I don't want to sit there and wait 80 seconds times like three batches, right? Doing nothing. All right, selling stuff again, loose components and all the processed strange plants. Okay, 38,900. Booyah! Biggest payday yet. All right, so we get home with all that cash and I start putting it away. I actually don't have room in my TC for all the cash anymore and all the extra high qual. Uh, we're overflowing in building supplies. I got guns coming out the wazoo. Backpacks full of like HE nades now. Uh, things are really going good for us. We're going to start to get into some bigger raids. It's going to get more exciting here. I got even tons of extra doors and like construction supplies. Um, building up the pythons that I find it and keeping them from the raids and not selling them. Eventually we're going to have a bunch of turrets, so uh, just getting ready for that. I glance over it here pretty quick, but there's 100k in my TC and there's another 80k in that uh, drop vault or whatever, that drop box. So we're at 180k sitting in the base. That's, that's some big boom booms. Hey, like I said, lots of construction supplies. I figure why not build a second flank base, fill it with a couple Tommy kits and a bed. Uh, I'm getting increasingly paranoid of being raided soon. Uh, one of the bigger bases on the server, so I'm feeling I'm going to get some attention one of these days. So I leave. I'm heading out to one of the suburbs. Just going to go kill some more zombies. And uh, I see this guy, and we get into a little bit of gunfight. He messed me up pretty good. I go heal in the house, and I'm um, kind of thinking he's going to charge me, he's going to rush me. Nothing happens, he doesn't come in, so I heal up, and I go back outside, and I'm looking around, and I think, I'm like, what is that? Is that his body just laying there? He's not dead, he DC'd or something like that, so, I don't know, sucks to be him, I guess. Alright, don't know who this guy is, but uh, I'll definitely take a... Uh, 130 nails, your guns, uh, all the bullets, a little bit of cash. Thanks, bro. Wow, this zombie's got some good loot. And all of a sudden, there it is. I'm getting attacked by someone else. This guy's got a friend, maybe. I have no idea where this guy is, and I'm already at half health, so I'm getting the hell out of here. I feel like maybe I should turn and face him here. But I don't see him anywhere. I thought, okay, I'll throw these grenades, see if I can either hit him with a lucky one or maybe scare him a little bit, get my uh, getaway secured. Alright, so we made it out of there. We got home, we depoted, and we're out of there right away again, staying busy. I went on a little roam, tried to go pretty far around a lot of the map. I uh, came across this little tiny base here with this heli next to it, and I thought, uh, I'd like to take this. So I found a little bear to kill, and I uh, made some fuel, and we took it. And now I'm scouting the map with the heli. So we're flying just east of Coastal Town here. Haven't been over here a lot. Uh, I find one base here. They got the tugboat over here. It seems kind of promising, although it's still kind of small. There's another one off in the distance here. I just want to check it out. Looking for some good raids. You saw my cash flow. I'm pretty stacked right now, so need to use it on something. This one's not bad, but it uh, doesn't like stand out to me as like, you know, raid me, raid me as like particularly special. You know, not too big. Doesn't have like windmills or turrets or anything. That usually shows me value, right? So we fly off east from there, we'll just keep going around the map, around the water here, and uh, we come across another base, a little bit bigger, it's got some windmills, looks like it's got some turrets, uh, it's kind of walled off, so yeah, this, this one could be promising. Yeah, I don't know who lives here, but uh, they've got windmills, turrets, they got two layers of compound walls, uh, they're probably some kind of farm built in there just because it's on the water. These guys are definitely making money. Alright, this is definitely our raid target. I'm just going to fly by that other base that was just north of here real quick. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go home and uh, grab the supplies to take out those turrets quick. And when I start taking out those turrets, if nobody comes out, then I know it'll be time to raid.
All right, that one probably just looks like some kind of farm maybe or something too. Who knows? Nothing too special. Let's uh, let's go home. Let's uh, let's get all that cash. Let's go to the outpost. Let's buy all our explosives. Let's get all ready for the raid, um, and then we'll come back and get started. The cash I have is enough for like 10 rockets and 10 C4. That's pretty good. That'll get us started. I have tons of other stuff at base if we need it. So uh, let's go over there. Let's burn this baby down. All right, let's go. I kind of feel like one of those uh, bases that we looked at is that uh, Monkey Mang and uh, that other guy, Hot Bathtub Water. Somebody lives over there. It's where I always see these choppers going back and forth to all the time when I fight them. Um, so I'm thinking hopefully we can we can get one of these guys uh, if we do a few raids over in that direction. Okay, as we build this, sometimes need to reinforce it a little bit to get a little higher, just so I can shoot over those walls, get a nice clean view of these turrets. And then uh, let's start HP in them and get rid of them. Nice, that one broke in three. That's clean. Okay, all the ones on the roof are gone. Now let's get the ones out in front. I'm kind of hoping to go through that sheet door you see on the top. I think that'll be the easier than going through the armored doors. So that's why I gotta get rid of the top ones and uh, those ground ones. Alright, we took out all the turrets we needed to. Nobody came out at all. Nobody shot at me. Nobody came to counter. So we're definitely pretty good right now to go home and get all the boom boom and come right back. Alright, this should be more than enough. Uh, I always bring extra. I don't like having to come back and mess around. So, uh, let's see what this guy's got for me. Not my best landing. We didn't die. Chopper didn't explode. But, I don't know if I can fly it out of here. <laughs> oh well, let's keep going. I couldn't really tell from out there if there was like any turrets behind other walls, so uh, let's check that out. No, just a bed. Kind of a random spot for a bed, but uh, alright. Uh, let's push this chopper out of the way and then we can blow in. Oh yeah, definitely a farm. Well, let's just keep taking this really cheap road path. Mm, that's weird looking. The space is definitely not all finished. Sounds like we just turned a bunch of turrets off. Hopefully there'll be some inside that are off now. I have no idea if this thing's loaded, but I'm not taking any chances. I see a turret down there, and I'm not sure if it's off. I think it should be, but... Alright, so it's two floors, really. Now, is he more likely to have loot on the bottom floor or the top floor? I don't know, I'd, I'd personally say bottom, but fuck, what do I know? Ah, so it's a big farm here, okay, alright. Uh, interesting, it's all high called up too, this guy must be just rich. This looks like more the core of like a 2x2 two two down here, so we're gonna just start blowing the bottom I think first. It's almost about to hop in, but I could see a turret's laser on the wall there, so uh, I gotta be careful a little bit. I got tons and tons of grenades for free from running coastal town, etc. So uh, let's put them to good use. This is a really easy way to get rid of this turret. Alright, that turret's broke. Let's get in there. 
Okay, that looks like where the TC probably was when he first built this base, and now he's moved it most likely. Or, mm, I'd say he even got raided, but all the doors are up and everything's not decaying, so that didn't happen. That's uh, some pretty unspectacular loot, so uh, I guess we're headed back up here just to see uh, what's behind those other doors. Alright, so we got a couple of different ways to go here. Um, not really sure what's what. But uh, let's just break this sheet metal one. It's cheap. Alright, that's really strange that that leads outside somehow. Um, okay, it looks like we're going the other side then. Let's try one of those armored doors next, I guess. We're just following doors now. It's gonna be expensive. Ooh, but we found a sleeper. Dr. Dario. Alright, finally got some loot boxes. You got a C4, you got a face mask, supply drop. Next box locked. Alright, that's that's a good sign. No C4 yet though, so we gotta keep going. We got a feeling we're close. Damn, this has been an expensive raid. I hope there's something worth it in there. Nice, we hit TC finally. Lockbox, it turns out to have been full of strange plants. You guys know what I'm talking about there. You could look into that a little further. Uh, and there's actually quite a bit of good loot in this base. I uh, just kind of empty out the crap out of a few of the boxes and then I put all the best loot in them. That's what I'm kind of doing here, transferring stuff back and forth just so I know what I'm taking at the end. I think I took you know, at least six inventories full of loot home from this place and just want to show it to you guys all. I won't bore you with like, you know, six trips of me bringing it home. But uh, yeah, another super worthwhile raid, this one. It was sure expensive, but uh, you know, I doubt I'm going to get all my uh, all my profit back in terms of explosives, but uh, definitely the biggest raid. I had something like five rockets, uh, a couple stacks of HE nades. Uh, you know what I mean? He's uh, he's definitely contributed to our fund here, and you know now we got someone out of the way that potentially could raid me too, right? So, so I'm flying loot home for a while, and then flying back, take another load. Uh, and it's getting late. I'm just about done day four here, and uh, I notice there's a crate at the coastal town. So I go and I uh, start that. I go transfer some loot, uh, and as I'm done, the crate's time's up. I go and get that. I think that's going to be the last thing I do tonight, guys. Before I uh, exit here for the end of day four, we did two fat raids today. I'm sorry the footage got corrupted on that one, but we're ready to send it to day five if we survive the night. Still not rated. Okay, first things first, uh, to make sure that doesn't happen, I'm going to do a major base upgrade with all the stuff I've got from these raids. Just tons of high quality and base upgrading materials, so let's put them to good use real quick here. First floor was already mostly high qual and then some metal, so the first floor is now all high qual. Second floor is like kind of stone, now it's all high qual. And now the third floor is going to be all metal. Now I'll go up to the roof and make just some surrounding tiles all metal too, just so that way you can take a beating. You never know what's going to happen to you here. Okay, and last but not least, let's replace the last couple of sheet metal double doors in my base right here at the front with uh, some garage doors that I got left over. Alright, now it's time to go sell any leftovers we got from the raid here. Uh, it's probably a lot of odds and ends and just random guns and uh, extra kits. They can sell all the metal armor, so I always take that kind of stuff, etc. 
32k is probably pretty decent. Uh, don't mind that. We gotta start uh, stockpiling up that cash for the next raid, right? That's my big priority is try to hit all those bases we just looked at before, all the ones closer to me. Most likely, unless they're, uh, you know, people that have quit the server, they'll be bigger by the time I have enough money anyway. Through the raids and uh, just walking around, I always gather the different strange plants. I uh, had enough to process there to make, geez, a, just a giant payday. Uh, right now, we're going to make sure I fill up my ATM before I leave the town and stash the rest of my base here. I kind of thought having a compound would uh, would help a lot too. Just uh, let me have a little bit more uh, freedom. Have maybe have a refinery, that kind of stuff. Who knows what else? So uh, bought some wood walls with all that cash. There it wasn't even that expensive. All right, and even before that, uh, I wanted to upgrade as much as I could on the exterior to metal. Uh, I know something's coming before the end of the the, of the wipe here. I just know that there's no way I'm making it through with nobody trying something. So uh, I want to make it cost them as much as possible if they do show up. Okay, the base is looking extra, extra thick every day. I'm always doing stuff to it. Felt, uh, felt like it was time to go back to Coastal Town, do another run there. Uh, just did that quick. Got a lot of stuff eventually. I think I just keep piling it up. I know I'm selling stuff all the time, but it's just from so many runs. So we go sell all that, make some cash. It's not some giant payday, but you know, you just gotta keep stacking and stacking. And Coastal Town doesn't take that long, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes to run max, and it's so close to my base, right? Went back to run it again, found a nice big military backpack. You can just see all the random ass loot you get. Depot that, and I was heading back to Coastal Town again. On the way, there was just a heli sitting in the middle of the field. I think it was just a random spawn, though. This was great actually because I didn't have a heli left anymore after I logged off the other night. Uh, I don't know if they got taken or destroyed, whatever. But now, uh, now I left it on my roof for later, and I went back to Lazarus Town to kill some zombies. After that, I'm just gonna skip over it. But uh, I ran close to the town a couple times more, and uh, another suburb, just getting a bunch of random stuff, and uh, obviously depot at. There was no uh, no PVP randomly, and didn't see anybody. I'm just back at the southern outpost that's real close to my base, selling it all again, making an okay payday, nothing too crazy, but uh, you know, every 16k that we put away is another C4 and almost another rocket, so uh, you know, just plugging away. Okay, 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 I go deep all that cash, I go home, I get some more crap, just crap, you know what I mean? We're going back, we're selling some more stuff again, it's never ending guys, don't worry. When I'm watching this and editing it, it, it kind of seems like I got unlimited random stuff to sell. Like I haven't earned it or got it for free, I, I, I don't know, if I did I would just make rockets and stuff. I wouldn't like make, spawn like 50 beat up double barrels to sell for, you know, a couple grand uh, and just waste my time. So uh, this is just all from me consistently grinding. All right, back at home, putting everything away. You can see I got a lot of high qual sitting around for upkeep. I got a lot of cash. I think I got 116k or something, 110k right now. The guns and uh, the HE nades are piling up again. So uh, sitting pretty, sitting pretty, ready, pretty damn close for another big raid here. Alright, so we're going to build this out, build a double door on here, and this will be one way into my compound here. Okay, well now we'll put up those wood walls that we bought a little while ago, put them to use. The other side's got a double garage door entrance, and this will just use the wooden gate entrance. Uh, that way I can come in with the horse or a car or something a little easier. I like doing this behind my uh, high walls. That way if people want to jump in, it's just way worse. They have to land on that. Uh, especially if you got turrets or something, it's really annoying. Uh, that also, if someone blows the wood wall, then they can't just like walk right in. They've got to, you know, blow that too or try to find a way to get over it. So it's just pretty annoying. You can't usually see it unless you uh, get up really high. You know, if you ladder over, you can't usually see it too easy. While we're doing all this uh, base upgrades yet again, I might as well make uh, the second floor uh, all metal. I got enough stuff, why not?
All right, now that I got a compound, uh, I built up like I think six supply signals from all the different raids and uh, farming, etc. So let's uh, throw those down. Ideally, I'd like to have some turrets in the compound, but I think I'll be okay right now. Ooh, it's so exciting! Just gotta make sure that I get the ones if they land outside of my compound right away, because other people could be, you know, waiting outside right now for me. Alright, nothing too crazy. I, th I think I messed up on the footage. I only captured five of the five of the supply boxes loose, but uh, that's fine. Uh, a few rockets, guns, high qual, you know what I mean? Some gold, which is money. Uh, that's great. Uh, so we go sell it all. I think it's like 21k. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not too bad. After that, I'm just running around scouting some bases. I see these kind of southwest of me in the forest here. Nothing too crazy, nothing that's very concerning, you know what I mean? Alright, back at a suburb, killing zombies. You're probably thinking, oh, not very exciting. But then look what the loot I get from this fucking zombie is actually get an eleven and a half thousand dollar C4 from a zombie and a Tommy all at the same time. That's another thousand bucks to sell. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty freaking crazy from a zombie. You gotta kill them zombies. I've been telling you the whole wipe. After that I go to a different town to kill more zombies. And while I'm there I gotta notice that Schmidt is dropping a crate right there. So now I'm killing zombies, I'm waiting for a crate also. I killed all the zombies and there's still a bunch of time left and I had some loot so I thought I'd just go deep all the loot and come back, you know? Alright, so we depoted all that. We're gonna head back and see if we can claim that crate. We get there, we do, and it's a pretty shitty crate. Just a couple low tier guns, nothing exciting at all. But, you know, we tried. Nobody came. Alright, so I'm really close to being able to afford a big, big raid again. Uh, take the heli out, and I'm just going to fly around and scout the map. I want to find out the, the best raid. I don't want to raid someone way too small, etc. I want to find just the right size. I land over here by this little uh, suburb, this town, whatever it is, and uh, I notice this guy's got his base, and then he's got a little shop next to it. Uh, it doesn't seem too crazy, but, uh, you know, if he's selling stuff, he's got a metal base, that means he's upgraded his TC, etc. Uh, I poke around it, uh, I go up around 360, just taking a look at it, and it looks like this backside's kind of exposed, like you can't really build more here, even if you wanted to, so, uh, I got a feeling that's where his TC is. It might be a quick raid. Alright, uh, that looks like the easy raid, but, uh, I just want to fly around and see if there's not anything better quick. I haven't really scouted the top half of the map too, too much, so, uh, check that out right now. Almost thought that was a base, but, uh, it's just a tier one monument. There was really nothing but, like, smaller bases that I saw, you know, where I flew. On the way home, I saw this just, uh, on the north side of Lazarus Town, but, no, nah, I don't know if I got enough for that. I decide I'm just going to go for that first one. So I'm just going to make our way over there and uh, try to blow through that back wall that I saw that looked kind of weak right away. Let's just grab a little bit of more C4 on the way. Alright, we're here. Let's see if I'm right about where this TC is. It's such an awkward little spot to get in here. Oh, what do you know? TC on the first try. Get me out of here. Alright, the door is gone. Let's see what 
kind of goodies he's got in there. Oh, yeah, there's a turret here. Oh, oh, give me out, give me out. All right, I'm surprised I got up the ladder that time. Um, I'm going to store some of the boom boom that I don't need, just a little half square away, whatever, and uh, try to deal with this turret. Long story short, uh, yeah, I died once or twice. It was uh, up at a weird angle, and I had to drop down, uh, so I just got fed up and thought, let's take out the power. That didn't really work too well in the end. Uh, the turret stayed on, so I guess there was some kind of battery system. I had a lot of HE nades, uh, and I figured if they do a big splash, so I'll just launch a bunch down there. I'm going to break it eventually, or the floor it's on, either way. Just didn't really care at this point. TC loot's not terrible, but not really that great. I'm just frustrated. I'm going to blow this guy's base apart, even if it takes every dollar I have. I don't care if there's no profit. Uh, I haven't seen much loot yet. It must be, I don't know, behind this wall or upstairs, so let's try that. Okay, a couple of boxes, hatch going up, all right, that makes things a little easier. Interesting box, M2, bullets, metal chest plate, samsonite, okay, 100 nails. All right, well, I need a little bit more explosives to get through uh, the next door or two, whatever he's got left up there. Uh, so uh, I need to go back to the outpost and get some more. This guy had a couple signs of promising loot, so uh, I guess we're going to continue this. All right, we're back. Let's see what's through that hatch. All right, boxes. Poop loot and poop loot and an empty box. Okay. Guess I need to waste even more to see what's through this door, too. And what, after all this explosives used, was the end result? Oh, not good. Not good. Oh, some guns. Maybe maybe a little bit of mats. That's it. Was, it was expensive. I could have 8 rocketed the back wall instead of C4ing it, and uh, I definitely could have got a lot more done, that's for sure. Um, I want to say lesson learned, but I never seem to learn any of my lessons. Alright, I'll spare you any more looking at that uh, pathetic raid loot. I, uh, I flew all of it home. It took me, I don't know, I think two or three trips maybe to get everything. And I logged off. That's the end of day five, guys. Can we make it one more night? Day mother farting six, not rated, amazing. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go sell all this leftover crap from the raids, all the all the different crates, everything I got here. This should net us a little bit of cash to get back on track here. All right, I made twenty three G's there. Not too bad. We're sitting pretty. I just have no cash really left. Uh, for another raid right like we just tapped out after that last one so the goal here is to just make money and raid again like the base can't really get too much bigger too much beefier so yeah it's gonna just go towards raiding here uh after i sell that i got some funny plants let's just gotta go process them we're gonna go sell that managed to find two garage doors that uh that run of the coastal town while i was processing the uh the funny plants and some explos, so that's pretty funny. All right, we're gonna take that right to the southern outpost, just close to my base there immediately, and sell that for a cool 28k. Uh, with the other bit we sold, I think we're over 50 already, so that's a definite good start. Saw another lock crate on Coastal Town near me. This one's usually hard for most people to grab because you definitely need a heli or uh, at least a buddy to boost you up there. So I just try to do this quick whenever it pops up. Pretty meh crate besides the AK. Alright, went back home. And now we're back out to Coastal Town again. Running around. Just doing it again. I get back and after organizing my base several times, I uh, realize I got like 20 grenade launchers and... 
just tons and tons and tons of shotgun rounds that I'm never going to use. So I figure maybe I'll recycle it all and uh, sell the gunpowder just because you can't craft explosives on the server. It's the only thing the gunpowder is good for is selling it. So uh, let's see how much money we can make from uh, recycling all this ammo. 75 high qual for just those extra launchers was good. I, uh, I got box of grenade launchers at home at least still. Okay, after recycling all that shotgun ammo, all we made was a lousy 2500 bucks or so off just the gunpowder. Definitely not worth the eternity it took to sit there at the recycler and wait for it to all recycle. So yeah, not a good strategy. Alright, traded the horse for another heli. Uh, take it back to base. Now I got two helis again. Uh, and then I decide to go scouting again. I've built up some more money. I've run a pounds a bunch of times uh, and taking all the crap I had in base to sell so let's start looking around again this beefy base was sitting uh, not too far west of the outpost so really not that far from my base and uh, geez I thought where did this thing come from uh, and uh, we should probably try to raid this if we can because this is definitely going to be filled with loot I like his little base design here it's too bad I'm going to have to blow it right to hell. Alright, headed back home to get all the boom boom. Got most of it stuffed in this backpack. Grab the AK, get all ready, get the ladders, anything else I need. Uh, and then we're going to take the helicopter, we're going to go to the outpost, we're going to take any money I got out of the ATM, anything else I can get, and we're going to buy some more explosives just so we can get into this bad boy. So I decided to use my multiple level rewards I've been saving for a while and you can see this adds up to over like 60k cash that I've just been saving away. It's a huge uh, bonus to our raid fund. Alright, I buy everything I can here and then uh, I remember I still got some more money in the ATM. So we'll go withdraw just about everything, not everything. I always try to leave just a little cash in case I did get raided or something that way I could uh, seal up the base, you know. Need a little bit more cash for just uh, one more rocket. And then, uh, you know, what you can also do is you can use these RP points. So at the top left of the screen, there's a red bar underneath the yellow and the blue one. And that's your reputation points. And what you can do with that is open different crates. Crates for building supplies, random stuff, PvP supplies, raiding supplies. And, uh, you know, there's certain items that are in the pool and certain ones are rare. And it spins a little wheel and you get a random item based on the rarity. That's all she wrote. Sorry if it was kind of hard to understand that wheel thing that was going on, what exactly I got, but it wasn't that great. It was HEs, some bean cans, stuff like that, some normal F1 nades. Uh, and then I'm just going to speed up the flight to the base, and I'll just show you. Yeah, it wasn't very far from outposts. It was just basically on the other side of outposts for me, so. Yeah, we got to get this done. I think we got enough now with that backpack full and then everything we just bought. I don't think this one will be complicated really at all. It looks like just like a two-story two-by-two basically in the middle. It hasn't uh, been finished yet, I don't think. So let's just head down this way and see what we find. Ooh, boxes. That's a good sign. And I couldn't break them for some reason. I had to sit there and mess around. I couldn't shoot that twig for somehow, but I eventually did. Nothing really in here, and it's one of those window loot rooms. It's kind of crappy, so I guess we're going to go through this wall. Alright, just a garage door. That's good. I don't want to see any armored doors. That's kind of a cool garage store skin, hey, that uh, alien thing. Oh, we've got a sleeper. His name's Extra Mad. Oh, this is the guy I fought in the suburb that DC'd that time. Okay, that's funny. That's his base. Oh, we're getting close. I feel like the TC's just around the corner here. Ooh, 
Ooh, another sleeper. I don't recognize his name, though. It makes sense why this base is kind of big and beefy and popped up pretty quickly, though. Oh, lots of stacked coffins. That is a, that is a definite good sign. All right, this is oh, uh, I didn't use that much. I still have lots of explosives left, and uh, we've hit like a ton of their stuff here. This is great. It's a shame it's one of those multi TC bases and I can't go seal this. This is a ton of loot. I'm just moving stuff around, trying to make room for all the new loot. Try to stack things. Uh, then I'm reloading the expo ammo and the gun. I don't realize I only got three rounds in there, so uh, that doesn't work. And then I end up looking around in all these different boxes for more expo ammo. And I actually finally find some. Of these guys actually got some explosives for me, which is nice. My biggest goal right now is to get all the best loot, all the rockets, stuff them into this bag, get everything I can, and get the hell out of here and get back as fast as I can. This is this is the best raid I've done. All wiped so far. We need this. I'm in pretty big hurry. I'm feeling stressed, and uh, this is what I feel like is what I need at base right now. And let's get the hell out of here. Everything's good so far. I haven't really heard anything. No footsteps. Oh shit! We're under fire. The base is maneuvers. Damn lucky I didn't get killed there. I have so much on me. They were doing a good job being quiet. I had no idea they were there. Alright, made it home, depoted, and then uh, I needed to get back there ASAP. Oh, I didn't want to give that guy or whatever any of my loot. That's that's my stuff. I need it. Alright, there's a horse and a build up. There's a pretty good chance he's right there. Actually, I think I see him. Yeah, I'm, he's down there. I just seen him peek his head back inside. Yeah, I don't see this guy. He must be waiting down on the little bottom like a turd. Alright, screw it. Let's do this. No way. That's so cheese. GL did so much. I think I was down to like 20-something after he hit me with that. Plus, you know, I missed a ton. I crept back over and uh, I didn't make a sound. I was going back and forth. I heard this guy splashing in the water. Sat there and waited. Nothing. Man, I sat out here for so long. I didn't see one of them leave. You can hear them walking around. The only water's on the back side of the base. And then all of a sudden I get ambushed. Ah, it's just... I don't know. I, I don't know. So people just always fucking know where I am for some reason. Alright, died twice. Still not deterred. Came back. Um, ended up hopping in. And, uh... I guess no one was here at the time. I guess he was ferrying the loot back to his base or whatever. So, uh, I just kitted up as much as I could, and I was sitting here thinking about this juicy loot I was going to take out of here. Maybe he was gone. Oh shit, he's back. I was so happy I killed this guy. I didn't realize that there was another one there. I've been getting killed by the same guy over and over, so I wasn't sure. I never saw two of them ever, and I didn't really hear two sets of footsteps. I'm not really the best at that. But anyway, I got greedy and uh, paid the price. 
came back yet again, uh, ready to fight, ready to try to do anything I can, even draw grenades, uh, etc. So uh, I was going to try anything, and uh, they left tons of loot sitting here, and uh, I just never saw them again. I, I don't know if they were uh, feeling bad for me, <laughs> or, uh, you know, if they had the log, or whatever it was. Anyway, whatever you see now, I get the rest of. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. After getting the first load of loot out, and then now the rest of this, and the kits, somehow, it's still a win for me. Um, yeah, just the sheer number of kits, mats, meds, um, the funny plants, uh, like I said, and I got their explosives and everything out, uh, that's huge. Uh, side note too is that uh, the TC was hidden behind the box. I broke it but never looted it. So it had uh, a little bit of cash in it and stuff too. I think like five grand or something like that. So after processing that and selling that, we made a decent amount of cash back. Uh, wanted to fill up my ATM as best as possible. And uh, yeah, take that home for sure. Whatever's left over. Just had uh, some odds and ends to sell, and then uh, I'm just gonna recycle all these grenade launchers these guys had. I ended up coming back with you know another 10 or 20 of them too. And the reason I grabbed them is you can't really sell them. You, you could uh, recycle them for high qual, and you could sell the high qual if you wanted. But I just keep it for base upkeep and uh, high quality more of my core, or uh, hopefully eventually the whole outside of my base if I get that lucky. So that's not a bad uh, amount of extra. My upkeep is maybe 30 or 40, I think, a day, so uh, that's quite a significant amount to me. Uh, and then uh, I'm really planning on doing a lot, so I'm going to need even more sheet metal with the cash that I have left over in my hands. Some of that good, good loot I got out of that last raid was uh, some windmills and some turrets, so uh, I figure I should install those right away, especially on my roof, so nobody can land up here quite so easily. Uh, I always like to have control of the roof in a raid. That is uh, huge for me. Getting top down sucks. Alright, I put that one turret down in the courtyard. I'm going to metal up the top of this and then I don't know how I lost the footage but I armored up a lot of the bottom around the core. Uh, you'll see that. And then the last thing I do is I add another turret in the courtyard facing the front door and uh, then I needed to take a little break for a while. Alright, I'm having alone time with my girlfriend, but uh, you know me, I leave my rust on in the background. So I'm doing that, and uh, I hear this weird sound, and I go over to the computer to check, and sure enough, I'm getting raided. I'm pretty sure I just heard the MLRS to come down. I don't have that on the recording, but uh, that's just what happened, so bear in mind. Holy shit, my shooting floor is blown open. Oh damn, how did I see him? Watching this back while meddling, I kind of panicked there for no reason. Didn't grab his backpack, didn't get the AK on the floor. I thought I had a good plan here. I got the full heavy suit, I got uh, a grenade launcher, and I got the M2. And I was going to go up there and uh, mess some people up. That was the plan. I took the suit off because I couldn't do the jump ups very easy, it was killing me. I meant to switch it, but I didn't think they were in that far, and yeah, they rocket PvP'd me. Sadly, I don't think I had another heavy plate set or an M2, but it wouldn't really matter, because getting rated top-down makes it really easy for them to use explosives, grenade launchers. Um, I kind of mentioned that a little while ago earlier in the vid, getting top-down sucks. I noticed this hatch was getting broken, so I went and got a brand new one, and uh, I'm just waiting for them to break it so I can insta-replace it on them. Nice, managed to get it in there. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Wrap it up down there, good play. I'm not sure what to do to defend. Definitely sure there's two at least, if not more, and uh, again, they got all these boom booms and they're coming top down, so I just gotta be as annoying as possible. <laughs> they're trying so hard to stop me from replacing it again. Yeah, 
<laughs> Hell yeah. That's uh, not that tough to break through in the grand scheme of things, but it's uh, it's annoying, that's for sure, knowing that potentially I could keep doing this infinitely. Lucky for them, I don't have any more of these left. So yeah, I had no more left, and I figured, well, I could soft side a stone wall. Let's just really piss them off. So I noticed this thing's broken a little bit. I thought, oh, I'll go get more materials. That way I can fix anything I need to. And I come back up and they let the tiger run out. Like, I could repair the stone wall. Now, this is going to be a theme for the rest of the raid. They consistently don't shoot the tiles enough. Like, they know to, but they forget to. I noticed the ceiling's broken a little, so I go get HQM and come back and I'm just waiting. Now, if you guys have ever raided someone who's done this to you, you understand that it's very annoying. You could have tons of explosives, but it's still annoying. And on this server, it's very hard to have tons of anything. Even if they have lots, I'm costing them so much. Think of what it costs to go through half an armored wall. Uh, you know what I mean? A couple extra trap doors. They've already MRS the base. They've blown through several walls. Like, I, I don't know what the cost is for them, but I bet you it's very high already. And they're not even close yet. Decided to come through here again instead of uh, the other way. Oh crap, there's no wall back there behind him now. Damn, that sucks. That would have hurt him bad if there was a wall behind him. Guess we're going to have to go a little deeper here, guys. and shut all these doors. I think, just maybe, I might have pissed them off a little. I'm not doing a spectacular job defending. I don't know what I could do. Uh, but I'm sure costing them a lot, that's for sure. They've tried to come down the door path and do so many different ways, and now they've just decided to go straight down through uh, all the ceilings. But uh, remember, again, I have a, a double armor ceiling. Uh, and have a pancake there, right? So there for a surprise. So after all that taunting and repairing, they're finally through almost the double pancake, right above my TC here. Um, not much I can do to stop them at this point. They were very committed. I managed to repair that, and I thought this is the last chance I'm going to have to push. So here I tried, but I went to an angle with the grenade launcher shooting up like this. blow through this door. Uh, I'm going to shoot through the uh, hatch at them, but no, I think they're hitting the floor, so I realized that. Now I gotta go check on it. Oh shit, that's only like 3C4 away from breaking. Oh man, I gotta get out of here and hide somewhere quick. Couldn't really see him at all. It was so dark. I don't know the blur and everything. I was waiting for I had a target. Should have pulled it faster. We probably could have shot him through the hatch in that door too if I had really tried. Okay, so I spawned at the flank base that's just a little bit east of mine. And I come back creeping up. Uh, I don't see they have any ladders set up. I don't, I don't know if they pick them up or how they get in and out each time. But uh, I can't find a way to come in and jump them. So I just end up going through my doors. Alright, I got a locker with a better gun inside. Uh, I'm gonna try and grab some nades. Sadly, there's no better armor, but uh, I don't know. I gotta see what I can do. This is pretty funny. I watch other Rust videos and I see people hit these shots all the time. I can never get it to go through here, especially in a tense moment like this. Alright, so I spawn on my other flank base and try to creep my way back again. Again, as you can see, there's ladders, but there's no ladders like to get up actually, so I can't really just jump in behind them like I want to. 
All right, I'm back inside. Let's try this Hail Mary grenade play again. Oh, there's a chance. Oh! Now I gotta admit, I got a little confused there when it said uh, that I was on a two times kill streak. Uh, I thought it meant that I must be killed two people at once with that grenade. Instead, it was referring to the kill I had before that, I think, upstairs. Uh, when I surprised him when the first raid started, uh, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. But uh, anyway, I went running back in to see if I could, you know, salvage seal, etc. But uh, there was another gunman waiting for me because I only killed one. I had no beds left. Uh, they were into the TC. They were threw all three of my beds in the base through the core. Um, yeah, so the raid's over. They left. They took everything they wanted. Uh, I sealed it up, and uh, now I'm running Coastal Town again because uh, I'm not done with this wipe. So I had already sealed the base, but uh, now that I'm back from that run, I decided to uh, replace all the shotgun traps, beds, as many boxes as I could. Um, and then when we're doing all our selling here, uh, I think to myself, uh, let's see what kind of level rewards I can get. And uh, I have a bunch of decent ones, some stuff for the base, uh, etc. You'll see here. All right, yeah, we got a supply drop, building mats, and uh, like windmills and turrets, so that'll definitely help us uh, repair everything that just happened. We'll be back to right where I was in no time flat. While I'm here, I empty out my ATM also. I was lacking kits, so I just thought, uh, why not just take the rest of these other uh, level up rewards that I can get too. One of the big things I need the cash for is to uh, fix the compound. So we're going to go buy some high wood external walls. And then uh, we're going to use a lot of this cash to re-upgrade the TC because uh, ours got destroyed. So now I have to basically uh, upgrade the whole base's level, the TC's level again, just so I can uh, re-upgrade the base to metal. So what I mean is right now the base can only be upgraded to stone until the TC gets leveled up. Alright, compound resecured. Hey, that's a good feeling. Alright, bag of base. Uh, you can see we're actually not doing too badly. We've got lots of upkeep, everything. That's not a problem. And we're just going to re upgrade our TC again. Wasn't able to upgrade the TC all the way, still missing about five grand. Uh, figured let's just throw this supply signal while we're waiting. Still replacing doors. Uh, we gotta put in a new windmill. And the supply crate came. Eh, rocket. It's not too bad, LR. It's okay. After that, I just placed a couple more turrets. That was a heck of a day six. Did our biggest raid, had some action, had a counter, and then uh, now we had uh, an online raid. Even better. Lost almost everything, kept the kids, kept some basics, rebuilt the base already. Let's see what happens on day seven. Alright, day seven. Um, I need to get back in the raid game up in the base is pretty solidified. Uh, figure the best way, killing zombies. I know I've done that so much, but they drop expo ammo, H E nades, sometimes a C4, guns which I can sell. Plus at a certain level bonus I'm gonna get a bunch of raiding supplies. So uh, that's the goal. Went back to Lazarus Town again, was killing lots of zombies, and I saw on the map there was a crate there. So I went over and started it and I was waiting for it and then all of a sudden it came and it dropped another one on top of it. This is pretty rare. Boom, fast forward. And uh, not a good crate, holy. I guess I need guns though. Okay, next one. Also poopy. Lots of poopy crates. Okay, got home, depot. Went back north to Lazarus Town. Killed a bunch more zombies. 
Went southeast to Coastal Town, ran that, brought it all home. Okay, back from Coastal Town now. Uh, thought let's just set up some storage right out front in the compound. Uh, I'm tired of like going in the base. I'm just doing these runs so fast. I just want to depot stuff and go back out again instantly. All right, here we go. Into Coastal Town and then out. And then another time in and then another run out. Alright, next I went to Lazarus Town with the uh, intention of uh, killing some zombies, but also robbing the bank. Uh, the last wipe I played on here was only the equivalent of a sheet metal door, but now it's an armored door, so I did not bring enough explosives. Alright, the pop's kind of low. I am going to just run home and grab what I need and come right back here, because this could potentially be a bunch of money for me and maybe some PvP for us. All right, Rest Lab says it's 15 satchels for an armored door, so uh, let's just use something crappy that I want to get rid of. Wasn't that nice that I sped that up for you? Eh, we don't need the silencer right now either. Boom, we're in. Okay, let's go start that thing. All right, and 20 gold bars. That's that's pretty decent. I think that's a good amount of cash. Yeah, I just hung around there for a while. I went around the bank, looked around. Nobody came. It's kind of boring. Surprised nobody tried to counter at all. It was nighttime, and I had a horse ready, so I made it home, no issue. Um, and then I just had tons of stuff from running back and forth to the towns. Uh, just to sell, so we just take it to the outpost and uh, do that. Okay, sold all that. Uh, a little bit more here. Uh, sell that stuff there. And then we gotta empty out the backpack. But it takes a minute sometimes. Boom, 20 Gs. And then what do I do with it? I toss it straight into the ATM machine so nobody could steal it if they raid me again. I still have a bunch of stuff to sell that's piled up at my base, so that's what we're doing. All right, another 24,000 from that. I go put I, what I think is my maximum in the bank and uh, I realize that, oh, my maximum is just a little bit higher. And uh, then I also have what's in my backpack as well. So yeah, it just takes a while, even though I'm fast forwarding editing through all this. Okay, we're finally done selling all this junk. Let's top up my bank account at the maximum amount here, and uh, let's get headed back to the base. I really want to have enough money to do a, a pretty big raid today. I don't want to do any little ones, so I'm grinding hard trying to get this done, trying to level up here. Uh, go back to Lazarus Town again to kill some more zombies and another lot of crates there. So uh, yeah, that's my, that's my ticket to making even faster cash. I'm so surprised I haven't seen anybody here to contest me for any of the last few of these. Oh, and I finally get a really good one. C4 and multiple armored doors. Oh, I like that. I'm going to get that C4 home, and we're going to go slap those armored doors on my base fast. There's always different things to do on a Rust server. Already today, I robbed the bank. Um, and now, what I want to do, I had the bright idea to go do large oil. So I got all the cards, I got everything I need. That's where I'm headed now. I'm glad I found a boat just sitting there. Uh, it was a pretty long uh, ride all the way there. It was on the other side of the map, pretty much. 
I had tons and tons of scopes before the raid, but uh, now after the raid, I'm stuck with zero scopes. So this is slightly more challenging. All right, here we go, baby. Things are looking good. Damn, I didn't even see him. Damn it, what the hell? He was in a second. Damn it, they keep coming out of nowhere. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's a little embarrassing. Um, they were coming out of nowhere. So I was on my way back, and I found a copter just sitting there. So I figured, let's use this. Kind of looks like a cool scene, but uh, yeah, there was no reason to go fast and break that. And that was pretty dumb. Okay, so I managed to get back on the rig, kill everyone, and here I'm getting my stuff back. All right, now that I'm all changed, let's go hit the blue card room, and we'll make our whip to red after that. But, wow, the loot's so bad in here. Yeah, I barely even took anything. All right, we're in red card room, finally. And, um, yeah... Yeah, I'm finding a lot of these crates are very, very disappointing. It almost seems like I would be better off to just loot Coastal Town. I wouldn't have to come out here. I wouldn't need a red card. wouldn't need to shoot so much. It really seems like the loot's better at Coastal Town. I might as well start this. Um, I've had some bad experiences in a while where trying to kill the heavy solo. Uh, I usually uh, try to lure them to the bottom, kill them with a sniper rifle. Uh, that's played my plan in the past. So I got his attention. I think they're following me. And I'm trying to jump off into the water. And they miss. Now I'm very upset. I can pretty much make a blooper episode for you guys all the times I messed up on this episode. Uh, I pretty much showed them all. I, try I guess I didn't show every single one of them, but, uh... Anyway, I went up the whole coast, there's no boats, there's no choppers, so uh, when I got to the ice, I just decided to swim, and I uh, was hoping that the scientists wouldn't have respawned yet. Yeah, and I can see scientists, so yeah, that's not going to be good. Um, I'm very frustrated at the end of that, I'm definitely not going to be coming back. I don't think it was really even worth it, even if I hadn't died. Uh, I really don't think uh, it's uh, the fastest way to get loot on this server. I hit the right level a little while ago, so it's time to finally accept our uh, rating supply reward for hitting such a high level. So I got that 33 grand cash for level 33, and for level 34 it was 4 C4 and 8 rockets and a launcher. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's a pretty high amount of money worth of stuff. Alright, well I want it all, so let's take pretty much everything out of this bank account here, and we're going to buy explosives with it. After selling all those gold bars for a juicy 48k, uh, combined with my ATM cash and the cash I had on hand, we're sitting at about 136,000, and let's buy uh, just a ton of C4 with that to start. And then I got enough left for three more rockets, that's perfect, we'll take that and we will go. And I guess I had enough money to buy a helicopter with still left, I guess it comes straight out of your bank account, so my bank account's empty now. Anyway, we fly this uh, helicopter right from the outpost to my roof, and uh, then we're just going to pile up all the explosives I have, and we're going to find a target to go hit right away. We are definitely not lacking on the raid supplies. I feel bad for who's ever next. 
I did some scouting quick and uh, the two bases that I saw east of Coastal Town a few days ago when I was scouting have gotten quite a bit bigger. We're gonna head over there and we're gonna we're gonna start with those. They've added quite a bit since I was here last. They multi TC'd it, they got a uh, windmill, they got a shooting floor, they got turrets now. They definitely gotta have some loot. Didn't even have to break any of these turrets. Found a spot I could just walk right up right here. Damn, I always cancel my meds like that. Ooh, I like seeing stone instead of more metal right away. Okay, cool, we opened something up here. Just furnace loot. Another furnace. Mostly junk. We'll take the windmill, I guess. Had to cut the clip. I was just looking around the base too much. You didn't want to watch that. So this first box is kind of junk. The next box is like tools. And there's a turret in there. And this wall's low. Uh, it looks like where the loot is. So right here, that's where we're going next. Yeehaw! TC and coffins. I like that. I'm just going to blow this door too right now. It's a multi TC base. I can't seal it. I look in this TC and it's loaded uh, and I'm full. I got no room. Uh, my first thought is uh, I need to get some of this out of here. I need to go stash the boom. Uh, I'm going to make some boxes and go just put this anywhere I can. I didn't actually stash anything very far, but just over the hill and on the other side of a little cliff here. Literally 15 seconds from the base, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully no one will find it. Never know if someone's going to counter you. I didn't want to have all my boom boom and everything on me when that happens. Nothing too special so far. Uh, turret, you know what I mean? This guy's definitely really rich on high qual, though. Mm, some tier 2 kits. Okay, he's got this instead of a locker. I'll take that. Oh, let's put that on. Okay, stacked a bunch more loot. I uh, went to go put that with my other stash stuff. I kept some explosives on me because I was going to blow some more doors here and see what else he had, if anything. Oh, I hear a chopper. It's kind of weird. It's been a while since the explosions, but it looks like someone's coming. Alright, let's see how good my aim is today. Oh, I hit him, but I don't want him to go land over there where I can't see him. I gotta go follow him. I gotta keep putting pressure on this guy. I don't want him to land and just uh, sneak over here with his buddy. It looks like they landed just over here, I think. I couldn't see them, man. I looked everywhere. I sat out here for a while. Well, I even waited till it was like really dark before I kept raiding again, but uh, yeah, I don't know if they just fucked off or what. That wall was already low too, and uh, look what we got. We got more boxes. First box, weapon attachments. Second box, bullets. All right, we got a couple more kits in here. Nothing too fancy. Don't know if that was worth the extra explosives. I don't think so, but uh, I had to check what else he had. Kind of sucks he had no cash or explosives, but uh, I'm going to start ferrying all this loot home now. I 
Holy shit, is that someone? Got you, you little fucker, sneaking up on me like that. Okay, I better take off, though. I don't know why, but I think it's the guys from earlier, and I'm pretty sure there's another one. So I managed to get out of there, depoted all that really good loot, um, came back the next day. Wanted to see if that guy's bag was still laying here, and it was. Turns out it was uh, one of the guys I already raided. It was that big metal base, the one I got countered on. He was uh, he was mad, I guess, and looking to come and counter someone else. Must have been by himself, too, when he came here, because no one came and got his kit. He never came back for it, even. So after that, I just grabbed all my loot, and I started ferrying it home. Even my original heli that I came here on was still here, and nobody took it. I don't know if nobody saw it, what the deal was, but it's still here. End of day seven, another raid done. We're uh, a menace again, everyone. Day seven. Well, we're gonna add that new turret we just got, and uh, then we're scouting. Um, I'm scouting here a base I already raided before. He's rebuilt, he's added way more turrets. Such a simple raid though. I don't know, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger. Saw another lock crate at Coastal Town, so flew over there and started that. Alright, I'm trying to stay busy, so I'm going to get all the funny plants from base. We're going to go process at the Coastal Town, and while it's processing, we're going to run the town as much as possible. Okay, we finished all that. Uh, heading back to Outpost now. I gotta go sell it. I just need enough cash to do another raid. That's. I just need a little bit more explosives. That's it. I even grab all the dollars from my bank account. Uh, I want to put everything towards whatever the next raid is I'm doing. Nice. So we made 23 from that. I got 25 from the bank, and uh, we're ready to buy uh, a little bit more raiding supplies. Okay, now we got all that. Uh, that crate's ready to get opened at Coastal Town. Let's head back there. Nice, I'll never complain about a C4. Okay, we are scouting bases again. This one is really close to the last one I raided, uh, like a square away, not even. And that's the direction of Monkey Mine and all those guys, so that's a potential. And it's a little further east, there's, uh, there's this one too. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about this one. This one looks like it's either got raided or not finished. Now I'll admit I didn't fly around the whole map this time, uh, I kind of stuck to the eastern side. Uh, out of the few things I looked at, these were the only ones even bigger at all, and uh, I just decided I think I'd go for the one with the turrets and everything that wasn't slightly decaying. So I went home and I grabbed all the boom boom, and uh, that's where we're headed now. Alright, so we're here. Uh, I'm just gonna line a little further away. They got a couple turrets. Uh, I only think I'm gonna have to take out one of them to be able to get in. There's not that much coverage. Yeah, just one, and I can get close now. Let's just see far away in there. Through the C4, I was trying to get to a safer distance, but I ran out of the path to turret like an idiot. Anyway, I got lucky, nobody came, was able to come back, grab my shit, and just keep raiding. Oh, 
Oh yeah, boxes. Kind of looks like the core right away too. Space wasn't very big, but I didn't think we'd get in that quickly. <laughs> I'll take this python just for better defense than I have right now. Oh man, these guys are stacked. Oh, this is going to be a good raid. Oh, I didn't see that body there. Oh, it's Monkey Mang! We found their base, guys! That's super weird. I thought it was going to be way bigger than this. Oh, that's so funny. I knew they lived over here. Okay, let's blow the shit out of this and seal it quick. Uh, they got no multi-TCs or anything. I want to take everything from these guys. Oh man, bathtub water and boomy. Guys, both that have killed me this wipe. It was a free man that raided me online. No wonder I had such a hard time defending. Plus I suck, but... Oh, this feels really good to get revenge on a 3-man. Saw that PC, walked in, got way too greedy. So this is day 8 into a 2-week server, and uh, I don't know why, but nobody's come around to this and to try to counter me. I've had two different chances where it would have been real easy, but uh, oh well. Okay, so without dying the shotgun trap, we'll break it and we'll place our own. Alright, we placed the TC. Uh, now I'm checking all the loot boxes just in general, but I'm also looking for uh, building mats, uh, stuff like that. I want to seal this up as fast as I can. Wow, these guys are stupid loaded from building mats to guns. That one uh, explosive box had uh, 13 HGs, 3 rockets, 5 C4, 54 HGs, plus that other one had 83,000 in cash. This is crazy. This is the biggest uh, profit for the, less, uh, for the least explosive raid I've done yet. Okay, so I sealed it, and now I'm taking the best loot home. Uh, I'm just going to fly it home, and I just go back and forth, ferrying the loot for a while. Uh, I showed it all to you. I don't think I'm going to come back and show it all again. Uh, I'm just going to have to pause and look at it if you want. I looked at all the boxes, I think. Not a bad load of loot right there. So I'm ferrying some more loot home, and uh, I see there's a crate at Coastal Town. Just got to go hit that up, obviously. After starting that, now all the loot's at my base. I'm starting to take a tail post to sell it all, but it's just so many batches of loot, right? And I got backpacks, too, so it's... I don't know, three or four trips at least to the outpost to sell. Alright, we made 14, put most of it in the bank, went home, grabbed some more loot, bring it back to the outpost. Had a lot of good stuff there for sale, made a huge chunk of money, uh, and then we're going to go fill up our bank machine to the top. That's always a good thing to stay doing, just in case. Uh, now we're down to all the mostly odds and ends, and then I always get a lot of grenade launchers from, uh, you know, anybody who's got a decent base, everybody stores them, so now we're just going to recycle those into even more high qual. That's something I'm getting from everybody, from every raid. Alright, back at base here, you can see my explosives box, we're very stacked, there's like over 162 AGs, 12 rockets, 2 C4, 4 stacks of Expo, I've got a bunch of cash, uh, the next base I want to raid, it's, it's going down guys. This base is really new, uh, only popped up in a day or two, uh, that's really close to me, it's just west of the outpost. That looks like some noob space, but I guess you never know. Just riding around, scouting. Uh, finding, you know, either crap or rated bases, a lot of smaller rated bases. I 
some bases I find like this one, I can't tell if it's rated or not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to waste anything on something like that. I'm going to look for a better target first anyway. There's a few more smaller bases that I noticed, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. So after riding Mr. Horsey around everywhere, I decided to go home. I'm going to do that first one, that metal one that was really close to my base by the outpost there. It seems cheap and it seems quick. Oh damn, I thought it was just going to be two cheap doors and then who knows what else, but uh, the way he's got it set up, the entrance isn't right here. Uh, I might just see four through that and uh, we'll see what's behind that. So I gotta go get a little bit more. Alright, I think 4C4 should do it once I'm through the one metal wall there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find something. boxes oh that was good that was a good decision I think I think I for sure saved myself some time all right didn't get murdered by a shotgun trap this time that's good let's break this TC quick all right we'll put these doors on real fast yeah nice professional job here all right what's he got in here I'll take that wood I'll make a TC for this place too Hmm, I don't know this guy. Alright, I did all the important stuff. Now we can check out the loot. Surprisingly decent loot. Yeah, decent gun box, M2, bullets. I can take that. Heli feels good. Now well, let's start stashing all this stuff in the boxes. Okay, get this out of the way now, and we'll see what's in this TC. Oh, that's not bad. 5K. Oh, pretty good. Oh, the dude's even got HE, Supply Signal, Explo, and Rockets for me. Nice. That was a really cheap, easy raid. Okay, guys, I got revenge on my biggest rivals. We did another raid. Uh, that's the end of day eight. Let's, uh, let's keep plugging away. Day nine, here we come, if we make it. Day 9 starts with a bang and a crash, literally, as I'm driving through the bushes and I hit an airdrop that nobody touched somehow. Nothing super special, but not terrible either. Oh well. I was driving around scouting and I uh, looked at this cave base and thought, well, maybe we should raid that. So I got a bunch of cash again. I got some more stuff to sell. Let's go take that to outpost, let's buy all the explosives we can, and let's just go on a spree until we are plumb out of boom boom. We're going to raid every base and shack we can find. Just buy a casual 16 C4, no big deal. And then I got enough money left over for three rockets. Now we'll make our way on the lonely midnight road to that cave base and uh, see what's behind door number one. My idea was to throw it on the frame of the door to save some explosives, but uh, I kind of missed.
Wow, that's lame. Literally just a door. Um, yeah, that sucks. Oh well, on to the next one. I thought the top of this guy's base was pretty unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, I'm not sure if it was like to stop from getting MRS to put like a layer between that and your roof. I don't know. This guy's armored everything on the roof here except for the side walls, so that'll be a really cheap way to get in. So the second the C4 goes off, I just get blasted. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I guess I'm raiding so close to one of the outposts that I get ripped by the turrets. Well, have to come back again, wait out the timer. But yeah, where I blew in seemed to be a smart place. Uh, I didn't have to blow anything else. It let me all the way in here, so we'll just take this one out and we'll try to blow down through like kind of a central area. All right, I was hoping it wouldn't be armored here, but oh well, let's, uh, let's go straight down through there. I think that's uh, probably close to where the core is. I had to hide from the outpost the whole time too behind these little walls otherwise it would have shot the crap out of me. You can see that I'm hostile to it right now in the top right corner. Alright we got a sleeper, two more doors. Not the worst sign, I think that's a good sign. Damn, not what I really wanted to see there, but I can break this easy. Alright, we got the PC, not too bad. Got some junk. Ooh, and then we got the good stuff. Turrets, rockets, MORS, guns, supply signals. Not too bad, not too bad. Nice, even the TC had some cash and stuff. But uh, I'm not really taking much now. I'm only going to be really taking explosives and cash, stuff like that. This is kind of a, an end of the wipe rating spree, I think, for me here. Most of the big bases on the river are gone, so I'm just kind of cleaning up whatever's left. I think it's smarter to blow all this than blow open one wall or through all the doors. Well, that's nice when it's all open like that. I appreciate you doing that for me, my friend. This guy's got a funny name, Refrigerator. Just about to shoot out his TC, and he's got some eh, okay stuff. He's got a couple satchels of C4, AK, HEs, Expo rounds. Most of the other boxes don't have anything really that special. Uh, I'm not even really picking up turrets or anything anymore. I threw out the ones I had and I'm not going to do anything more to my base, I don't think. So, not terrible TC. A little bit more cash for me and just some more guns. Remember this would be an okay raid, but I just don't need it. I'm not going to go spend all my time transferring loot and selling it right now. Alright, here I am back at this guy's base. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for anything right now. There's literally no other big bases on the whole server. I am the biggest dog left, I think. Uh, the population has semi-died off. There's new people coming and going, but uh, not many people put in the effort to build some giant-ass base or even really understand how to play this server. So, uh, yeah, now I'm just... Uh, I think this is the last day for me for sure. Wow, 
watching this footage over, I think I probably should have raided this base, uh, even though it was decaying. I bet you there was something in there. Uh, some of the other bases I end up raiding are like look like they're all raided, but uh, they're not actually being loot inside. I drove by this base earlier and I didn't think much of it, but uh, now I'm just kind of getting bored. And I want to use everything I have and get the hell off this server for this wipe. So uh, yeah, I decided let's uh, let's bust our way in here and see if there's anything inside. Alright, we'll sprinkle a little C4 there, and then we'll back up, and we'll finish it off with a dusting of a rocket. Alright, now this definitely doesn't look rated at all. Who knows what we might find in here. That's pretty interesting loot. Uh, some good stuff and then some really shitty stuff. Damn, these planter boxes are annoying. It's kind of funny how he has them in his base right in the core like this. I'm pretty sure there's a door there, so I'm just going to shoot this wall until these uh, blocks break and I can get in there. <laughs> Damn, I still got a lot of HEs left. But uh, I decided I'm going to use most of these satchels first as uh, they suck and I want to come out of my inventory. Alright, we're in. We got TC. Okay, let's get rid of that thing quick. Holy jeez, 4C4. Look at all the MRS. We got a rocket, expo, supply signals, HEs, HVs. This guy's pretty loaded for having a base that I thought was rated or decaying or something. TC's not bad either, but uh, nothing else really that special. Just a few guns, etc. Alright, so I'm roaming with everything on me, all the cash, all the explosives, I'm trying to die. This is the last base on the server pretty much, and these guys happen to be home. I'm pretty sure there's two of them there, and uh, they don't seem very uh, very good, they don't seem to have a lot of gear. So I'm just going to online raid them, and uh, if they can kill me, they can have everything. As you can see, my inventory is organized for war. The only thing that'll get me killed is my meager skills and not paying attention. Alright, I'm pretty lucky no one was standing on the other side of that wall just waiting for me. Um, and this doesn't look too complicated. Maybe let's just go through the floor in the middle. Damn, I didn't think I was that close, but I guess I was just a hair too close there. So many times I'm hearing doors open and I have no idea if they're above me, if they're coming from inside the building, if they're coming out the front entrance. Uh, so I'm just constantly paranoid of what's happening here. Hey man, what's going on? Wow, did that guy just clap? I don't know what he's clapping about. I'm destroying his base. Yeah, I don't even really hurt. care. This is just this is just playtime, but yeah. I don't know if you heard him, but he's making it sound like this is some super complicated base design that I would never figure out where the TC is. Um, it doesn't seem too difficult. It's all squares. 
No, I'm not saying I'm going to win, but it doesn't seem complicated, that's all. Every time I hear these doors open, I run over here and check, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's happening, where they're going, but, uh, I never see them. Now that I'm watching this, I should have used an incin, and incin is this, uh, hatch, and then their front door, too, just so they couldn't get out so easy, and then I would have had a way easier time. Okay, almost bro Holy shit, where the hell did you come from? Oh, man. Oh, no, that's, that's lame. That's really lame. I checked so many times. Where did you come from? Uh, so, like I said, I didn't care about the loot at all. I pretty much just gave them a ton of explosives, all kinds of gear, cash, uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, I just came right back to uh, the, the last raid bases, and I just got full up on tons and tons of the raid loot again, high qual, etc. And uh, I thought I'd just PP, uh, PvP with them if I could, and then, again, if they kill me, they can have it all. GG to them. It's too bad I didn't have a closer respawn and more explosive because otherwise I could get them on bag timers and this would be way more fun. But uh, clearly they got bag guns somewhere else. Uh, that's that seems to be what happens here in the end is one of them up on me. I don't know where he was. I never even saw him. I just get shot in the back by some piddly ass little gun. And, uh, yeah, then I'm done. And, uh, they get everything. I went back in slow-mo when I did that 360 look around the car. And I never could see him. I still never saw where this guy was. Although I guess he was clearly behind me. And I was probably looking the wrong way here for a long time. But yeah, that was a fun way to end. You know, I did a bunch of raids, and then we tried to online some uh, some new guys, some guys that didn't have much gear, but there was two of them, and, uh, you know, I don't have a ton of PvP skills. So anyway, we gave them a bunch of loot on, you know, halfway through the wipe, and uh, hopefully they enjoy that and they get to have fun. But I'm out of here now. Like I said, the pop's kind of low, and there's no other big bases. I've been killing it, grinding for days. So, uh, yeah, that's it for me. I, I really appreciate everybody watching. Project Lazarus, hardcore. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, like the video if you can, subscribe to the channel. I do have a Discord, I'm not on it as much these days, but if you do send me a message, I will see it. So uh, take care everyone, bye bye.